last game of the night, Saturday, December 29th, the Orange Bowl, 7 p.m. ESPN in Miami, Florida. Ooh, boy, we like to party in Miami. In Miami. Uh, Alabama 13-0, 8-5 against the spread, 2-2 two two against the spread in the last four. Oklahoma 12-1, 5-7-1 against the spread, 1-2-1 one, one in their last four. The opening line was Alabama minus 14 with a point total of 79.5. The current line is Alabama minus 14. And that the, the spread, not spread, the total has jumped to 80.5. Does that surprise you at all? That's a lot. That's a lot of points. I mean, it wouldn't surprise half. me. I don't have a feeling either way on the over-under. I'm going to go under because that's an insane amount of points, but it wouldn't shock me if this is – I mean, they broke 100. It, it will not surprise me at all. So, Hollywood Brown for Oklahoma is questionable. Tua is questionable. I think they're both going to be back for this game because it's, you got a month. It's a high ankle sprain. The the new thing that they are doing, which I actually had a conversation with a couple of doctors last night, like high ankle sprains used to be a four to six week deal. You remember that? Okay. Now it's like two to three weeks at most. Well, yeah, medical and it's advancements like are pretty good. Embryonic cell. Re- so it's they explained all of it to me, and they were like, "Look, you can heal like that. Like it's super fast now." So I don't think Tua or Marquise Brown is is going to have a four problem. to six weeks and. In- Three to four weeks are not not a whole lot. But it's, uh, we're talking we're talking two to three weeks compared to four to six weeks, and two is already back at practice. Like he's, well, yeah, taped I mean, you up. could practice like, with an ankle sprain. It's just oh, yeah. painful. Oh yeah, you can no, play with it. And so it's it, I, I think I think both of them will be fine. Uh, Alabama is every bit Oklahoma's equal as far as offense goes. The only difference in this game is that Oklahoma is terrible. On defense. Uh, Oklahoma number 96 in the country at points per game defensively, 32.4. Number 97 in the country in defensive yards per play, 6.02. Alabama's number 6 in defensive yards per play, 4.46. And number 4 in points per game, uh, 14.8. But as far as points per game, Oklahoma's number 1, Alabama's number 2. Yards per play, Oklahoma's number 1, Alabama's number 2. You know... Like, I, I think I don't like giving up points when it's 14 in a gigantic game like this. But I do like Alabama here. The metrics have Alabama minus 15.84 uh, and a total of 86 in this one. I think I'm probably going to go Alabama minus 14. And... I just, I cannot, 80 and a half just seems absurd. I'm going to go under the 80 and a half, even though the the metrics say that it should be over that. How you feel? I'm going to go Oklahoma just plus all the points. I think this could be who gets the ball last. It's possible. Alabama's defense is really good. You know what Alabama's defense is not great at? The secondary. And against these SEC offenses that run the football and throw it when they open the run up, Alabama's great at stopping that. But, now, I'll tell but, you this. But Oklahoma's going to do exactly what Bama does, which is you know why you can't intercept the ball and you know why you can't sack the quarterback ever is because they snap the ball and in less than half a second the ball's out of the quarterback's hands. Alabama is plus eight in turnover margin. Oklahoma minus two. Yeah. Okay. That's, I'm, I'm just throwing that out That's there because fine. Kyler's got, you know, seven. So Kyler That's Murray's right. biggest obstacle this year was really Texas Tech. They confused him early and got him to throw a couple of uh, picks that he normally wouldn't throw, it didn't feel like. Um, I am curious what Murray does against defensive speed that he has not seen this year. Their speed is on the linebacking core and the line. If he throws the football the way he threw the football against Texas and all these other schools where he's hitting shotgun and literally catches the ball, bootlegs left or bootlegs right, and then makes a throw, then you don't have time to hit him. You don't have time to let that speed do anything. Now, I'm not saying Oklahoma's going to win the game because I don't think they're going to stop yeah. them at all. But I absolutely could see this last team with the ball wins. Well, if that's the case, you can't beat them by 14 unless you get a pick six or a punt return or something like that return. Yeah. So um, You like over or under 80 and a half? I'm going to go under just off of principle. 
of principle. I don't have any feelings for it whatsoever, but 80 is a lot of 80 points. 80 is a lot of points. I mean, I've just watched football for a long time. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me, but I'm I'm not going to bet it. But if i got to pick it, then that's it. I, I can understand it. 